A very warm good afternoon to our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Sunaina Singh, Reverend Dean, Professor S. Upendran, our wonderful teachers, members of the media, all my fellow batchmates, and the new set of young teachers to be. I wish you all a very happy Teachers' Day. Celebrated on the 5th of September, Teachers' Day marks the birth of one of the most popular and influential teachers that the world has ever seen, Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. As a teacher, however, every single day is a celebration. Celebration of curiosity, celebration of childhood, creativity, innovation, or should I just say, celebration of life itself. We are honored to have with us teachers who have impacted our lives in more than one way, sometimes directly, sometimes indirectly. And teaching just sounds so glamorous now, doesn't it? Because we always think of teachers and even, you know, the projection of teachers is somebody who is dressed completely from top to bottom in a typical, you know, dress and going with a jola. That is the usual conception of a teacher. Sir, you seriously made teaching sound so glamorous, the grammar and the glamour. A big round of applause for Sir once again. I would now request our Honourable Vice-Chancellor to please come up and enlighten the gathering. <laughs> Professor Upendran, uh, my dear faculty and the young budding teachers, friends, uh, good afternoon and namaskar to all of you. Uh, we have all gathered to celebrate the Teacher's Day and uh, we just heard some sterling piece of information from Professor Pendran as to how teachers, uh, uh, the, the very profession can be glamorous but also there is, he also spoke about grammar so there is a lot of depth into teaching too. So uh, keeping that in mind, I, I was just thinking and this is a time that uh, generally we need to reflect on our profession and when you look at the teacher's profession per se, uh, not many people do come forward these days to take up the teaching profession. It's no longer that attractive to a lot of youngsters. So I congratulate those of you who are here this afternoon or uh, with EFLU uh, for these two years to be trained as teachers uh, from this university. Now, uh, teaching as a profession, if we look at our own culture, the student, the shishya would be in quest of a guru. If you look at the culture, you know, if you go by the tradition, you go back into history, you go back to Upanishads, the student was in quest, in search of a good guru, you know, and would go to the guru with a request to accept him or her as a pupil, as a student. Now look at the times, times have changed. We don't look at the guru, we look at the institution. Whether we can step out of the institution and which will fetch us a job, that's what we do. But I still believe that a lot of students who really know the value of teaching look at the faculty in the institution and take admission, thinking that this set of teachers in this institution will guide me through my profession and later on set me on the right path for life. So that inherent belief in the Guru is still there, even if the times have changed. You know, even if we look at the institution, even if we look at whether it will fetch us a good job, whether we can go abroad, there are a lot of considerations you know, that students look at. 
according to the times, these are all healthy considerations. You have to look at your future. But then when you enter the portals of a university, enter the portals of a college or even a school, the teacher, the guru becomes the primary uh, uh, force of inspiration for the students. And as budding teachers, you all should realize that this is a very honorable profession. Whether you take any of the gurus from our own tradition or you take Aristotle. What did Aristotle say about teachers? He said that the parent gives life to a child. But it is the, t the teacher who gives the life direction to the student. You know, art of living is taught by the teacher, you know. And if you look at Einstein, you know, he said something very interesting. You know, it is the teacher's job to create the joy of learning in students. So as long as we as teachers learn to make learning a joyful experience, which was also addressed by Professor Upendran, as students, unless you learn to enjoy, now that can happen only when the teacher continues to inspire all those 365 days, whether you are in the classroom or outside. You know, a teacher could be teaching you probably for a semester and not teaching you for the next semester. But remember the remnants of the classroom experience, the personality, the influence of the teacher may continue well beyond the classroom timing. And therefore, I personally believe that Teachers have greater responsibility for the society, for the world, for the future. Because we, uh, it, it's like an uncut diamond which is polished. And, and the end product should shine forth in life. You know, it, the brilliance of the student should be there for everybody to acknowledge, to see. You know, you cannot hide the brilliance of a diamond, they say. That's because the brilliance is captivating. So unless a student is able to emerge, you know, as, as uh, a, a student who has not just attained knowledge, but is living that knowledge, you know, the character building, you're able to bring forth the best into the world and probably thereby inspire many others. When the students go back home, they talk about teachers too. You know, and the parents get to know, your siblings get to know about uh, your teachers. I recently met a lady. She said, ma'am, and I've never taught her. You know, she, she happened to be the sister of my student. And she said, I still have your notes, your lecture notes are still there with my sister. So we still go through it at times. I asked her, how, how do you maintain this? What, you know, what is, you were teaching romantics, ma'am. And we have all the poets, we, we know. I know the quotations. Now, she is an engineer by profession. What I was struck by is, while I was teaching her sister, there was another teaching happening back home. You know, somewhere, if, if you're good as a teacher, it gets reflected in your personality in your life and you extend it to others around you. That's very important to do. You know, as teachers, we should remember, it's not just that classroom teaching that is important, but what is the additional, what are the additional qualities that you extend to that coursework? That is very important. And without just sticking to a particular poem or a lesson or a learning profile if, if you look at if you do research and look at other areas related to the subject I think a teacher does marvelously well you know uh, if, if one is teaching for example Paradise Lost you know it's always important to do some research you know on the Old Testament if possible Quran if you possible the Indian mythology and see are there any parallels is there anything additional that you can give to your students and not just analyze the poem? The simple task of a teacher is to analyze or to teach what is given to the teacher. At times we don't like our syllabus, you know. 
as teachers we know that you know, i would have loved to teach that course but that's given to somebody else or i have not been able to do that but i think the moment you get any course even if the course that you are not very comfortable with uh, uh, not completely into the scholarship i think you should build scholarship around that and you should look at the new ways to do it with as much of uh, experience as scholarship and enjoyment of uh, imparting about that particular area you know that you're dealing with so teacher gets to do a lot more things than just teach i think that's very important you know when you look at our uh, university's logo and sarvam shabdena bhasate you know bharatri hari's vakya padya it's taken from uh, words illumine everything now i think words are the domain of a teacher we deal with language all the time and how do we choose to use the language will depend on our imagination so as teachers i believe that imagination is probably the primary criteria that you must bear in mind because if you are teaching even grammar for example generally uh, students don't like grammar am i right you know it's it's uh, uh, i remember when i was a student here since we are looking at teaching many many years ago when i did a course here my first semester of grammar uh, i was terrible i couldn't cope with it I, I, all of us in our group were frightened of grammar and the next semester were getting b plus and a you know and i was wondering why is it that you know and then i said it has something to do with the teacher who has taught us you know teachers can feel superior by making students feel very small you know you have to acknowledge that and there are some teachers who will empower empower you and make you feel that you are the best student going around and you can do marvelously well i think the secret of a good teacher is that to bring out the best from you yeah? so that i i thought uh, uh, is something to take home because uh, as as you learn you know you are imbibing a lot of things well when you teach you are also learning so as a teacher we have to look at certain things from a, a, a different perspective and as a student because teachers continue to be lifelong students always remember that you know and uh, as professor upendran said students can be smarter than you they may know much more than you these are the information days you know at the click of a mouse you have all the information i don't believe it is teacher's job to inform it is the teacher's job to inspire you know it is teacher's job to take the student from information to newer realms of imagination how information can be utilized in the most creative fashion to channelize your life's experience and move forward so i think it's very important to look at teachers from a new perspective i think we need to i con- constantly say this we need to reinvent ourselves constantly because the day you say that you have arrived you know everything then you are gone that's the end of your growth so when when we continue to learn when we continue to say hey there's a good idea let me see how i can transfer this idea uh, or uh, translate it into another realm and bring out a fresh idea out of it you know so ideas must generate new ideas they should not end as an experience as a knowledge uh, um, a domain they should end in fresher knowledge building fresher knowledge domain uh, that is very important so the teacher education that you have from this particular university is b ed english i'm well aware of that now english remember is is seen as a language that privileges you in many ways you know so when 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 a language privileges you when you are able to move forward in a new direction it empowers you in many ways 
Now you should see how this power that you have been able to garner, how you are going to use it in future. So remember that because here the, there is something here which is almost mathematical. You know, you have the equations but you also have something beyond that. So let, let's, let's look at language education as education that, that will garner a better future for many, many people. And you have to create new <coughs> knowledge domains, you know. So what are the new areas that you can bring forth through your experience? What are the new research areas? Something that you should constantly engage with your teachers and find out. And th th these are some of the things that I wanted to share with you. But most importantly, a personal note, I think all of us as teachers have learnt that uh, we need to value our students. Without students, there is no teacher. No teaching happens there. So unless you learn to value your students, you are not going to be an effective or a good teacher. So as, as faculty, let us value and not undermine our students. Give them the joy of learning, inspire them, show them the road ahead, give them the courage to take the road that is not taken very often. So teacher's job, you know, they're, they're the finer elements here. You're, you're imparting not just knowledge, but giving them the courage, the inspiration, the joy, and the future path. So I think these few words, uh, let me say thank you to all of you and happy Teacher's Day. Uh, this is a day when we value our teachers, look up to them. We also need to learn that we are going to be teachers. So let us see whether we fit into those shoes. Thank you. Like ma'am very rightly said, the teachers affect eternity. Nobody knows where their influence stops. Thank you, ma'am.